Hello again, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path, and welcome again in my forest. Uh, my name is Tim Hay, and I believe in dragons, and I'm glad that you are with me again. <laughs> Even though I don't know. <laughs> but I would like to tell you something more about, uh, very serious, about uh, the Dragonic Path. The Dragonic Path can be laughed with, can be ridiculed. Uh, as much as they want, but in fact, if you follow this, this is far from ridic ridiculous. This is actually very, very serious. When the dragon comes to you for the first time, when this happens, I have no words to explain what this is. It's just so amazing, and um, and some people just say, "Oh, pff, the dragon heart. That's just a dragon. It's like Draco from Dragon Heart." No, no, no. That's not. Oh, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> what a dragon is. The dragon is so... I couldn't uh, else describe them as pure. It's so pure. It's like angels. But when I when I saw and felt... I, I didn't I didn't saw them. I, cho I only felt them in the beginning. And I knew it was a dragon. Just feeling. Like I said before, these are the feelings, the senses that are doubled. And that is why you know that the dragon comes to you. And you can tell a lot about the draconic path and what to do, but uh, that is that is just uh, yeah. You you can write books about it. How this is how the how the dragon's path is the left hand path. How the dragon's path uh, is also just uh, light and dark. And you can say this a lot, but in the end, what is the dragon's path? It's just accepting who you are, and that is so amazing when. When you have this revelation, when you have this awakening, this awakening is amazing. This awakening is telling you everything what you need to know. You can say everything about the five rings, about the seven gates, uh, nine gates actually, the five gates. You can tell everything about this, but this is ir irrelevant. You know, uh, you, it's, it's nice to know all of this, but you need to know first who the dragon is and what you are. That is the first thing, and maybe the only thing you need to know. <sighs> so yeah, um, maybe not. You are not the one that went on your knees for the first time, and I know this because every dra every dragon is different. But when my dragon came to me, that energy, that power, that was far beyond me. My my human brain couldn't accept that. It was so extreme, and I knew it was the dragon. That is why I said the senses were open. I felt them, and later on I saw them. And you don't need to see them. You will feel them, and you will know it's a dragon. You will know. If you if you are asking yourself, how do I know it's a dragon? You will know. You will know, because your senses can now feel through the dragon's gate and every spiritual gate, actually. And they are connected with you and that is so and and so satisfying when the dragon comes to you and you know it satisfying is a good word but for the rest i don't know how to find words to describe what i what i had seen what i have felt i mean <laughs> many people like to explain what draconic wicca is but in fact can you can you explain what the dragon's path is? I try my best. I try my best. Even though every dragon is different, I try my best. And I want to uh, compare myself a bit with maybe your path. But in the end, it's your path. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot do this. All the dragon gods, all the dragon guardians, there are so many dragons. And what you, your energy will feel when one... The one that is connected with you comes to you, touches your soul. What will happen? This awakening for you is something that cannot describe in words. This is not just an awakening. It's, it's a murdering of your old personality and the birth of a new one. It's a birth of a dragon. It's a birth of new life. And the end of uh, the end of ignorance in your for you 
because you are, now you are complete from both sides, this side and their side. The dragon's path is amazing. And there are there may be some months and days that you will feel the dragon less, and that is very normal because the dragon's gate, I mean, and that is maybe good to know, the dragon's gate is not always on just a little bit open or a little bit closed. No, it's always shifting. It's closed, open, closed, open every time. And when it's more closed, you will feel the dragon less. And when the dragon, when you can feel them more, then the dragon's gate is more open. It's always shifting. It's shifting energies all the time. And so you don't have to be afraid that you feel the dragon less. Because that what, that is what we all fear after our, uh, our, our uh, spiritual path, after we, after we accept the dragon's path. After we accept the dragon next to us. That is what we all fear, that they will go away. But don't fear that, because the dragon is connected to you. All of these, these years, millions of years, they waited for you. They will not just give up on you just like that, because you cannot feel them. They know what nature is more than ever, and nature has rules, and these rules that you is that you cannot do this and only by the draconic energy you can do this you can uh, open the dragon's gate even though this is against nature's will this is what the dragon wants and the dragon is nature's guardian and the dragon has also authority over the four elements because every dragon in the history of mankind every dragon is known to have an element a master of the element, every one of them. If they are good or bad in a story, they all have, they all have a connection with um, the elements. And the elements is nature's, is what it creates, of course. So yes, so when I went on my knees, I cried when my dragon came to me the first time. I was lucky enough that my parents were going to sleep, that they weren't to work, uh, asleep that they didn't see me just broken on the floor, on my knees, crying like a little girl who just uh, hurt herself. But, but it, yeah, it's so indescribable. I, when, I, when I look back at it, it's, and all these months that came after it, it was just like dreaming. It's like, it was like I was I wasn't even there. An amazing feeling. Ah yes. The draconic awakening. I, I don't know if it's the same with you, but for the mo I, I when I first met the my um draconic brother from Poland, he's just said the same thing, even worse. It was maybe even worse than I had. More stronger, more intense. Well, this person was so and, and I love him, he's, he's my spiritual brother. Uh, he, he was so sensitive when you say something like, oh, this dragon in this story is killed. This, this person, I mean, from Poland, he was so, so sensitive, even more than me. What he has seen on his awakening was more intense than mine. And that is something that is amazing. And that is why I like to know the, about other spiritual brothers and sisters, how their uh, spiritual awakening is going. That must be very intense. Uh, but sometimes it's not, because this only happens with so-called chaos dragons. But um, ac actually every dragon is very powerful. It's only your mind. Can you let them come through? And when they come through, what do you feel? How do you experience your awakening? I don't never, never want to talk light about the dragon. The dragon is so much, so intense and so pure. And so I would, do, I would die for the dragon to, to let them come here again. Uh, if they are alive again, I would give my life for them. And that is pure love. That is not what other religions do, like some people worship Odin, worship Zeus, worship Isis, uh, I mean the goddess, eh? and uh, <coughs> or worship just like Christianity or Islam. They worship them because they get promise, and I get nothing 
even though I would give my life for them, that, that, my brothers and sisters, is pure love. That is what is connected to you without any, without any floration. This is what is connected to you. This is your path. If this is what you feel, this is amazing that you feel this. <sighs> I don't want to sound like a preacher or something, but this is the fact. When you follow the dragon's path with such a devotion, that is what you need. That is the only thing. That is pure love for your, for your path, for a spiritual path. You don't need any priest for that. You will know what to do and you will know how to talk to the dragon and you will know uh, what, 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 uh, uh, what you have to do about uh, spells and, uh, and prayers. When you don't pray for the dragon, you don't do that. You just talk to them. Just talk to them. They are your, your dragon and they are, uh, I mean, you are their human actually actually you are also a part of the dragon <sighs> oh god damn it people sorry <laughs> sorry for cursing i mean yes when the dragon came to you when the dragon comes to you just be happy just go on the floor let yourself go don't hold back just let the dragon show how what what you feel about them that they are right by touching you they are right just show them your emotions, everything of your emotions. But don't let it eat you, just show it to the dragon. Show your emotions, your dark and light emotions. Show that you love them in any way. There is no taboo in our dragon's path. My, uh, my, my, my dragon sisters and brothers, oh, sorry, I, I was busy. Um, be blessed. <laughs>